Psy here. I have this really cool turtle shell and I'd like to make it into a box. So I'm trying to figure some stuff out. I'm thinking the shell can sit like this. I'm using some scrap pieces I had left over of walnut and cherry. And I think I'm going to have to glue a bunch of wood together and then cut it into a funny shape to follow the shape of the shell. But I'm excited to try it. So I think I will start gluing and doing that kind of stuff. It's one of those things that uh, it'll make sense later, maybe. Maybe. I started gluing up all those random pieces and Johnny was lonely and so he wanted to be in the carrier. He's been that way lately. thinking I'm gonna have to do a lot of it. Well, I knew that. I'm gonna do a lot of adjusting. Uh, but I think I'll paint the inside of the turtle right now. I smoothed up some edges inside the shell first. This not only sounded like a dental office, but it smelled like one too. I was really surprised by that. I was also surprised how well the Dremel smoothed up the shell. Then I went on to painting inside the shell with some enamel black. And I thought that looked nice too. By now the box was dry and I was ready to make the bottom. I used this piece of cedar in the hopes that I could use the box, which I didn't end up using the box as a box. You'll see later. I used my belt sander and then I hand sanded the box. I looked up how to maintain a turtle shell and it said to spray it with uh, polyurethane which is what I always spray with, so cool. I noticed there's a crack here and the paint came through that crack a little bit. I tried to clean it off, but it has a little bit there. I think that will be okay. I'm hoping to epoxy a hinge so that, that it can open like that. So I'm thinking I should probably epoxy this to the box first and then apply my finish, which is going to be Danish oil, because I'm really liking that stuff right now. And then once that's all done, then I can epoxy the turtle shell onto the bracket. I put Johnny in his carrier again. Good boy. And I mixed up the stinky epoxy to epoxy on that hinge, which I thought was a really great idea, but I ended up changing it. The next day it was all dry and ready to apply a finish and Johnny still wanted to be in the carrier. I'm using Danish oil! Woohoo! Yeah! John's like, what's wrong with you? Alright, let's apply the Danish oil. I am wearing a glove because husband saw a video where I applied stuff and he said that I needed to wear a glove. And I only had two left so I was saving the second one for another coat. Let that dry. It's like a two-year-old pair of gloves, so I don't know how protective they are anyway. This is my last two-year-old glove. Well, I think it's dry enough. I used the blue tape to keep the hinge from sticking to itself. Right now, Johnny is out of his carrier, but he is in the shop walking around. So the shell is going to sit like that. And then you just put a big old goober of epoxy there. And just about here, he starts scratching on my leg, wanting me to pick him up. There, like that. Let's see how that is. Okay, John, I know. Come here, buddies. Okay. Well, let's just turn this whole thing around. Then maybe we can see it. Oh yeah. Yep, that's gonna work. Woohoo! I think it's gonna work! <laughs> you see that, John? Yay! Okay, well let's let that try now. Let's check it out.
Awesome. Cool. I had an idea for it. I think I'm gonna mount it on the wall. Well, I put my turtle up in the corner. Here it is. Ta-da! I moved my Jesus sign up there. I put my turtle here. And we know it's a box. And can't open it all the way. But I'm gonna put a picture of my favorite turtle, Cecil, right inside the box. Yeah, that works. Cecil turtle. <laughs> Awesome. I had to reinforce the turtle shell because the epoxy, uh, I was afraid it's going to fall off and crack. And so it doesn't look so good, but it's on the inside and back, so you can't see it anyway. But what I did was I, I took that hinge and I drilled right through the shell. And then I uh, just used a piece of wire on that side. But over here, I put some screws through there. And then I put the hinge on kind of funky back there. But anyway. It's much better now. Yeah. So, yay, that worked. Well, thanks for joining me as I made that turtle shell a box, which ended up being like a picture frame for Cecil the turtle. Um, anyway, I just wanted to display my shell somehow. And, and so I, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I think it works out pretty well. So thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time. Bye.